Now your cabin air filter is actually located on the passenger side of the truck and it's actually gonna be behind the glove box in here. So if you open this up, uh, it's gonna be behind here. So we're gonna pull these um, pins, these tabs, to let the glove box fall down. Disconnect this little dampening rod. Um, remove anything in your glove box. And then we're gonna remove this trim piece. It just pops out. And we're gonna pull a couple screws and then that piece comes off and it'll be right there. So let's get started. So first, let's pull this trim piece off. It just kinda lifts and pops up just like that. And it goes under here a little bit. Yep, just like that. So you can see it just pops in just like that. And now the next step is to remove this dampener which is on the right side and you don't need any tools to do this. It's just a little uh, tab, I guess, that's right there. So what happens is you just lift up on the glove box just a little bit. I'm gonna use my knee to hold it up. And then you grab this dampener and slide it down into that open space just like that and it pulls out. And uh, so now that's, that's free. And then the next is there's a tab. So right here, there's just a tab that keeps it from going too far. So you just kind of bend that in just a little bit, it pops out. And the same thing right here on this tab. You can see my finger right there. So we're gonna push that, push that in just a little bit. And the whole thing should drop down. Just like that, perfect. Yeah, and you can see how this, it's on a gear and it just slows it, so that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. So when you're looking in here, the air filter is actually, the cabin air filter is in there, that uh, honeycomb, honeycomb looking spot right there and that face just pops off, but we can't really get to that easily because this is blocking it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this bolt and this bolt and that bolt and uh, the whole front is just gonna pop off nice and easy. Now I always keep my tools in my truck and I like to keep them back here behind the seat with this really cool latch. Um, link is in the description if you guys want that. But now you can store uh, all your tools and I'll grab my sockets here. Okay, so this takes a seven millimeter, I believe. So we'll just put that on. Unscrew that. And we'll just get these loose. One thing to note though when you're taking this off is that there, this little button here, I think it works, the light has wires connected to the back of it. So when you pull this off, don't pull it off too far and yank on those wires. Right. One. And there's the other. Okay, so this just pulls off nice and easy. Just like that. I always hate pulling out trim pieces. But just pops out nice and easy. Cool, so that just comes out nice and easy. So um, just a little tip for you guys, this piece is pretty flimsy and it goes right against the bottom right here. So if you can get your fingers in there and uh, kind of pry them apart and make sure you don't, don't grab on this and pull that and break that off too. So there's your little wire. And now there is our honeycomb for the cabin air filter. Okay, and the way this works is there's two tabs. You reach on to the side and you pull it out to the side. You just get your finger and curl it like that. Same thing for uh, the other side. And then the whole thing hinges down and pulls out just like that. And right there you can see your cabin air filter. 
and you can see it is pretty bad, pretty, uh, pretty filthy, pretty uh, disgusting. So just to show you guys the difference, this is the old cabin air filter and this is the new one. It's pretty, pretty big difference how dirty that is. Yeah, so that is absolutely filthy. That's super disgusting. Um, you're breathing that, that's going in your truck, uh, your passengers, your family is all breathing that shit. So uh, make sure you don't neglect that and uh, be sure to change your cabin air filter. This is the cabin air filter that I'm using. It's the STP uh, model. I just picked it up at uh, O'Reilly's or AutoZone and uh, it should work just fine. Okay, and just a little hint for you guys. Um, if you get one that is a different brand than the Ford or whatever. So these little wings, these tabs uh, that stick up, those go facing up. And then the airflow, you can see it right there, it's flowing down. Um, I wanna make sure that goes down. So tabs up airflow down and just slide it straight back in there and once you get it lined up you just slide it in and just like that and make sure it's flush and although it's pretty self-explanatory everything just goes back together the opposite way that you took it apart i'm just gonna show you that process how it all goes back so we got our cover in air filter in next we're gonna put this guy back in being careful of that wire yeah, perfect it's got some tabs that need to clip in and remember the bottom trim squeezing those pieces all together make sure that's in great now for the seven millimeter screws and the other If you're wondering about my tools, yeah, I painted them so that no one steals them. My family and friends all like to steal tools, so I painted everything yellow so that they wouldn't take it. That way I know it's mine. Whatever. All right, now these don't need to be super tight, but I'm just snugging them down. And be careful when you have a wrench, you don't want to strip them. So that's why I'm holding it up high and not down low where there's more leverage, so. Okay, so that is in. And next we're gonna tilt up um, the glove box compartment, making sure to get this tab and this tab in, and then uh, connect this guy and we're, uh, we're good. So I'm gonna kinda use my leg and then just pop that trim trim piece in. Yep, that's good. And then this guy over here just pops in. Great. Now over here, you can line it up. In the hole. And then you're gonna need to slide it up. Push it in, slide it up. Boom. That's it. And we'll put our manual back in there. Oh, don't forget your trim piece. Trim piece just goes in, just like that. Just kind of push it into place. And then these little key tabs, push it in and that's about it. Boom, and there you have it. Cool, and that's it. It's a pretty simple process, but it makes a big difference to have that fresh air coming into your cab. That way you're not breathing all that shit and you and your passengers uh, can have some fresh air. So make sure to check that every uh, 30,000 miles at least, more often if you're off-roading and then the dust. I'll put the link in the description for the filter that I was using. So if you guys wanna get it, um, you can find it there. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found that video helpful. Um, please like and subscribe. That really helps me create more videos for you guys. If there's anything that you wanna see in the future, leave me a comment and I'll try to make a video about it. If you have any questions, you can leave comments too. I love talking to you guys. So um, we'll see you in the next one.